going on? This is my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. I'm going to bring you guys 14 robberies within one day. Then the very next day, two elderly people robbed in Chicago. I'm going to bring you guys the crime stats. We're talking 2,023 robberies within 120 days, well, 90 days, three months. Wow. And it's almost April. So that's 120 days, four months that many robberies i'm gonna bring you guys to the video of these robberies chicago police released this and they are help trying to ask the community for help now what i said before is that if we don't get a hold to the stolen car pandemic that we are seeing we won't get a hold to the rest of the carjackings the armed robberies and the homicides all right they do have the cars and some of them on pod cameras this that and the third but a lot of them, a lot of times, are stolen. Um, so, I'm going to bring you guys to the... They're going up north to rob these people. Do y'all understand? Let me say that again. The west side and the south side are going up north to rob them people. Okay. Y'all think y'all going to continue that? They're going to make an example of you. Y'all keep going up there if y'all want. All right? Um, this is going to have on the 2600 block... This is all the areas. 13 of the robberies took place between 6 a.m. to 2 a.m., 2 p.m. Now, do you understand? You could literally work a job. You're going to risk a 30-year sentence, and there was a young, there was somebody shot in the neck. They're going to say police incident. One of the incidents, a gunfire of a woman was struck in the neck and shoulder. That's attempt. Y'all risk 40 years in jail, and what are you going to get for armed robbery? Nobody carry cash anymore. Look at all them robberies from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. You could wake up that early to rob, but you can't wake up that early to get a job. Help it make sense. Help that make sense. So these are some of the robberies. They ju jumping out with choppers, extended clips. Look at dude. Dude got a, a gun so big he can't even barely hold it. And they go into people's cars. They robbing people for their cell phones, their wallets. And y'all got four or five people with y'all. What y'all going to split? What are y'all going to split? What are y'all going to sell the cell phones for $50? You risking 40 years for maybe $100 each? You can't be dumb, lazy, and stupid. I, I, that just don't make any sense. So they go into people's cars. Chicago police released this whole video. This is several of the robberies here. Um, where they wait for people to come outside, jump out on them. And, and, and let me tell you something. That is absolutely terrifying. Somebody puts a gun to you. Because you don't know if it's going to go off. You don't know if that's going to end your life. And I keep telling y'all. A lot of these cities. Give people a slap on the wrist. Criminal trespass to a vehicle. Give you a slap on the wrist. I will make a mandatory minimum. Y'all would hate me. I would let this. I. Let me tell y'all something. Carjack if you want to. Do an armed robbery if you want to. Cool. But if convicted, 30 year minimum, think about it. The next 30 years, you can sit in the bathroom cell. All these jobs, you could go to Walmart. Amazon is hiring on the spot. We got the internet. It ain't even like the 80s and the 90s anymore where you had to literally work at a, a Burger King to two in the morning. You can literally fill out surveys online and make $100 a day. More than what these youngsters is out here robbing. And we got a migrant coming in and they willing to work. All of them willing to work. Scrubbing toilets, washing dishes. Some of them made $15 a month in their country. And here we paying at minimum wage at least $15. I don't know how much minimum wage is, but at least $15 an hour here. And they like, whoa, wait a minute. I'm going to work 10 jobs. Some of them. Not all of them. We got some mistakes. A few of them got a whole bunch of issues too. That's a whole nother story. All right. So now, two elderly women were robbed. Elderly. Do you understand what that means? I would give them the chair if I caught them. 
You rob an elderly woman, that's somebody's grandmother that can't defend themselves. That's somebody's grandfather that worked hard all their life and they're just going to the store. I would have no mercy if I found a youngster that robbed my mother and robbed her for her hard earned money. She worked 50 years working and y'all want to jump out and you 15 and 18 years old and you can easily work a job and you want to take an elderly person money? Oh no, you would hate me as a mayor. You would hate me anyway. Youngster, I want to bring you guys highlight this young man right here. March 25th, young man in North Lawndale neighborhood on the west side of Chicago. Uh, Gabriel Quionis, 20 years old, on 3600 block of West Florida Avenue. I'm going to show you guys um, just all these pod cameras. Right, right here is a whole camera. I mean, can we get facial recognition software? Can it see at night? But we got cameras everywhere. And it reminds me, every time I do a show, I bring you guys pod cameras. See everything. It, I feel like it's like the purge. Like, they're like, oh, there's another one, Bob. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. And just like the first 48, when they don't have a lead, they lead to the community. Hey, help us out, y'all. Here go a car. Here go a car we found in the area. Uh, can we get some night vision software? Can we get some facial recognition software on these cameras? But one thing is for sure. Look at this young brother, only 20 years old. He can't wait, but at max 150 pounds. If that. Do you mean to tell me these youngsters are that soft that y'all couldn't jump out? I, I, what, help it make sense. One man killed, another injured. Monday night in Garfield Park, the city's west side. Um, 3600 block. About 8 p.m. on a Monday, two people found shot. One on critical, one on pronounced. 20-year-old victim was transported. Um, and another 18-year-old victim was wounded in an adamant critical. According to police, a third male was placed in custody at the scene for unlawful use of a weapon, and three gun handguns was recovered. I don't know if that if that third person was they shooting back, was it a shootout? I don't know if that was a person caught. They're not saying. Right now, I do not know the rest of the details. On this case, I will bring you guys an update if I have it. But they're saying uh, three weapons recovered. One person charged with unlawful use of a weapon. I don't know if he shot back. If that was the person shooting, then, he, it, then it'd be charges. But since they're not saying that, I'm wondering if there was a shootout. Um, I'm going to bring you guys. It's 107 homicides so far. We're going into April. It's only March 27th. We're talking... 38 homicides, six of them in Austin. And normally Austin it always has the most. Right now is Grand Crossing with 11. I want to bring you guys to the city migrant crisis. What we're looking at is 100 migrants. They're talking about, they're going to be moving them out of some of the parks. It's getting hot out. People want their parks. They pay good taxpayer money. My thing is this. How come it's the city of Chicago and just like New York? It's like, now it's your problem to house, feed, shelter them. I would say, even if you did take them in for a week, two weeks, okay, cool, we did enough. All right, I'm going to send y'all a prayer. But we're going to be spending billions. Somebody got to pay for this. Understand that this is not free. The taxpayers of Chicago will be flipped being this bill. So now they got to move them out of these parks. Now they got to find somewhere else for them to live. And there's this scrambling around trying to find places for them to live. And so they're going to say that over 100 migrants from Brand Park, 200 Alvin, um, Armory Park, almost 300 from Gage Park. All these different places has to go somewhere. That where we don't know. Anyway, I cannot stand the thief. You got the same 24 hours within a day as the next man. If you went, if you woke up broke, you had no business going to sleep. I don't want to hear any excuses talking about, oh, it's no opportunity. There's opportunities absolutely everywhere. You can look up side hustles on the internet. You can work at Burger King, McDonald's, or even Amazon for minimum wage. And sometimes more than that, I work six days a week on doubles on the weekends since the day I turned 15. 
You do not deserve eight hours of sleep if you woke up broke. You had no business going to sleep if you woke up broke. Mayor Brandon Johnson, all these people talking about, oh, there's no opportunities. Stop it. There's more opportunities than there ever was in anywhere in the world. Right now, here, there's more opportunities than any place on this planet Earth right now. And the worst part about it is people that wake up at 6 and 7 in the morning to go to a job that they hate. To have your boss say, if you had to beg for a day off, for you to have to sacrifice for your family and your kids to work hard to put food on the table and for some bum to try to come and to take it from you for nothing. Y'all could wake up at six to rob, but y'all can't wake up at six to get a job. Help it make sense. Anyway, make sure you guys like, subscribe, let me know what you think about this video. Peace. The city on fire, ooh, down to the wire, my life in the shine, ooh, it's my life in the shine.